Hey there, John from MySolarHome.us. This latest video is about uh, portable solar generators. Now these are a set of solar generators in the range of 500 to 1000 bucks. So they are mid-range. If you're looking for slightly bigger ones, I have another video on my channel called the Best Solar Generators 2022. So let's start. We're going to review six top portable solar generators of 2022. We're going to look at the Jackery 1000, the Generac Home Power, the Blue Yeti EP70S, the Mylan 600, the Yeti 500X, and the EcoFlow River Max. These are portable but powerful and are great for camping, outdoor trips, RV trips, powering up a small cabin, and even doing a little bit of household duty. If you're interested in more power backup for your home, you should check out my video on home solar generators for 2022. Let's start out with the Jackery 1000. The Jackery 1000 is a very good looking unit with a capacity of 1002 watt hours and a 1000 watt AC output at 22 pounds. It's fairly light and is powered by a lithium ion battery. The unit boasts of three AC outputs, pure sine wave, which is true for all the solar generators today, which make it in top lists. It's got a USB-C port that outputs 35 watts, one quick charging USB and a regular USB-C port, a regular USB port, and it has a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette charger output. The display is LCD, gives you your battery capacity as well as what input and output is happening for the unit. It is a one-year warranty and Jackery has got a full range of products and it's got excellent US support. The Jackery 1000 is powered by a lithium-ion battery. Solar panels are extra. The rack rate retails for about a thousand dollars. The unit can power anything but power tools and a window AC. It can even do a blender thanks to its large thousand watt AC output. Many of the other competitors will not be able to power devices like the blender which which needs about 800 watts of power it can run it can charge your laptop about 17 times 170 charges for your gopro or your iphone it can run your drone for about six hours and 49 minutes you can run a desktop device for about three hours generarc has a very popular product which is going around again with extremely similar specifications compared to the jackery 1000 with power with an energy capacity of 1000 watt hours and an ac output of a thousand watts and the Generac is 23 pounds compared to the 22 pounds of the 23 AC outputs, a USB-C 18, a USB-C 35 watt. The Generac has two USB-C outputs, both outputting 18 watts, which could have been slightly better. And it's got one quick charging USB as well as one regular USB. Also a cigarette charger output, which does 12, which does 10 amps at 12 volts, just like in your car. It weighs about 23 pounds, a one year warranty. The Generac also has a USB support and the display is nice. The LC LCD display is functional and does a good job of telling you how much charge remains as well as what is the input power and output power to the device. You can connect external solar panels to it like all solar generators. The Generac retails for about $1,000. This unit again can power everything other than power tools and a window AC. It can even power a blender for about 1 hour and 4 minutes. Run a microwave for about 1 hour 20 minutes. You can run a TV for about 8 hours and 31 minutes. Charge your laptop 17 times. The Blue Yeti EB70 is again a quality product from Blue Yeti, they make very good spec products. The Blue Yeti EB70 has 716 watt hours of energy capacity, 800 watts of AC output. It weighs about 21 pounds and it has lithium ferrous phosphate batteries, which is excellent. Most of the portable solar generators do not carry lithium ferrous phosphate batteries. These last much longer and that's immediately a plus point on my book. Charging times for the Blue Yeti EB7, EB70 are four to four and a half hours from a wall outlet, which is not super fast, but it's definitely no slouch either. You you can charge it using solar panels, but you'd need to put about 200 watts of external solar panels if you want to charge it in five and a half hours or so. And you can charge from a car or from a generator. With an 800 watt inverter, this cannot power devices like a blender and it can power a microwave for about 56 minutes. It can run a laptop. You can charge a laptop 12 times with the EB70, run a 50 inch TV for about six hours and five minutes, three hours or so with a fridge. The Blue Yeti EB70S retails for about 600 bucks. The Mylan 600, which retails for about 500, has got a lower capacity compared to the earlier portable solar generators we looked at in our review at 622 watt hours, but it's got a nice AC output of 600 watts. With lithium ion batteries, it weighs about 21 pounds, so it's easy to carry around as you can see. You can ask your kid to lug it around instead of you carrying it yourself. The USB-C port is a 100 watt output, which is great. And USB-C ports in most of the other portable solar generators are in the 35 to the 18 watt range, but the Mylan 600 scores with a 100 watt USB-C port. It's also got three USB ports, which are standard ports. The display is nice with a green LCD to indicate the battery. Two AC ports, which support 600 watts of output power, a DC 12 volts, 
a regular AC, two regular DC 12 volt outputs for your party lights or tenting lights for your camping, etc., or camping devices, and also a cigarette lighter charger. It's got a one year warranty and it's equipped with an LED flashlight. And charging time for the Mylan 600 is reasonable not it takes about seven hours to charge your Mylan 600 from a regular wall outlet you can use a reg you can use a USB-C charger also to charge it in about seven hours so Mylan 600 can power anything up to a blender but it can't do a microwave because usually those are more than 600 watts of uh, AC power output requirement it can run a desktop computer for about one hour 45 minutes uh, a regular fridge for about two hour 40 minutes a 50 inch TV for about five hours and 17 minutes 106 charges of your smartphone about seven hours on a CPAP machine next on our list is a Yeti 500x from the US based energy group of companies Yeti brand line is extremely rugged has been around for many many years this one is a 505 watt hour capacity battery with a 300 watt ac output it weighs just 13 pounds and is a lithium-ion powered unit a beautiful looking unit with all the power outputs in the display integrated into the front panel it's got two usb-c outputs one of them is a 60 watt and the other is an 18 watt two regular usb 2.4 amp ports the display with lcd display with a battery charger input and the output it's got one cigarette charger and one dc 12 volt output. Yeti 500X comes with one year of warranty. The charging time for the Yeti 500X is the standard seven to eight hours. Some of its competitors can charge the units in, in less than half that time. Yeti 500X retails for about $699, so it's a little more expensive, but the Yeti is a blue-blooded American product manufactured and designed here in the US, and they do charge a premium for their products, which are actually very well-built and very rugged. 500X has a 300 watt inverter and that means it may not be able to power your desktop or blender. It might be able to power some fridges two hours or so. Could run your TV for about four hours and 18 minutes. Up to nine charges on your laptop and about 86 charges for your smartphone. And of course, none of the larger power tools, etc., can be run using the Yeti 500X. The EcoFlow River Max comes with an output of 600 watts of AC, which is really good in this range. And it's got a capacity of 576 watts at 17 pounds and lithium ion batteries. It is fairly light and highly competitive with the others. Where the EcoFlow River Max scores is as usual with the number of outputs. It's got three AC outputs. A USB C is a full 100 watt output. Port. It's got one QC and two USB, total of three USB ports, two 12 volt DC 12 volt outputs, and a cigarette charger output. The warranty is great at two years, comes with super fast charging. The batteries are detachable, so you can add more batteries to this. This is again a big plus point with the EcoFlow range of products. You can monitor your River Max with a mobile app, it shows you how much battery charge is remaining, what the temperature is, and also what the input as well as the output is. These The River Maxes are also able to jumpstart larger devices because they have a boost to search the AC output to close to 1200 watts. You'll be able to run all fridges using this for about two hours, 27 minutes. Desktop computers for about one hour, 40 minutes. Um, laptops, you'll be able to charge it about 10 times. And now if you compare the six best port portable solar generators in 2022 side by side, as you can see, they come with the capacity range starting from about 505 watt hours for the Yeti 500X to 1000 watt hours for the Generarc and the, and the Jackery. The price ranges from $500 at the lower end to about thousand bucks in the higher end. The two higher power units in this range are the Jackery and the Generarc. Generarc home power, they're both lithium ion and they've got pretty much very similar output profile with three AC outlets, USBs, etc. Among the slightly smaller range at about between 700 to 500 watt hours, the Blue Eti and the EcoFlow are extremely good with the lower capacity range, both with 800 and 600 watts of AC power. Super fast charging is supported by both these units. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and have a nice day.